Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Nous rappelons à nos voyageurs que l'usage des appareils électroniques est interdit durant le décollage de l'appareil. What did she say? That sounded serious. The pilot says there is a crack in the engine, but uh, not to worry, he take off anyway. I'm tired and I'm hungry and I just want to see my fiance now. Are you going to help me or not? I'm afraid, uh, no. Why are you here in Paris, huh? I come to Paris to get back the man that I love. Is that so hard to understand? But how? I, I try to imagine, okay? Once he saw me, myself, moi, everything would change, the spell would be broken. I swear I just saw Kane. How can I help you win back this ridiculous man if you act like a clown? Oh, man! Oh! Oh, my bags are gone! May I be of service? We did kill the bagage that Madame on the table! You tell them! What's happening to them? What's How could you let this happen? Hey! What is your problem? They are my bags! But you could... What? Because I'm upset because it is my country and this is a scandal. Are you coming? Did you know that there are 452 official government cheeses in this country? Don't you think that's incredible? <laughs> oh, God. Spasm! Spasm! What, what the cheese? Oh, don't say it! Yeah, yeah. yeah the do you enjoy being in that room? Because when you do that, yeah, it just like gets underneath my skin and it makes me completely insane! Yeah. Yeah, With this wine, I'm going to make a great vineyard. Yeah. Please, don't ever, ever! Never touch my bag. So who's this guy who stole my bags? Bub. Bub? No, Bub. Bub like, uh, Bob Dylan. Oh, Bob. Oui, Bob. Chips, chips. Oh! Beautiful. Gorgeous. Wish you were here. Bub, chip, bub, so why is he doing it? It's a challenge. So you went from teaching brats to shit. Emotional behavioral disorder. Yeah. Shit. It's not a soft option teaching one boy, you know? Welcome to a special school education. If you really want to know how to teach these kids, make them realize that you have things that are far beyond their dreams. Swing ungirded hips, enlightened are our eyes. The rain is on our lips. We do not run for prize. Great ass. There you are, boy! Eden and Harrow have cross-country clubs. Not simple. You've got more chance of starting a chess club. Go on, sir, give Conrad a race. Conrad only races people he knows he can beat. Sir! I just think you're wrong about Conrad. There's a life outside this place, but he's missed it. He just frightens me. Something in his eyes. Oh, where did all this blood come from? Ah! Oh, shit! What's through here? Probably where the blood's coming from. He gives these kids something they've probably never had until they walked into his classroom. Belief in themselves. Are you all right, did you? Yes, sir. It's absolutely brilliant, lad. You were right, in fact, Mr. Child, about one thing and one thing alone. And that is that I am mad. <laughs> I think she likes me. What should I do? Shag him. Just shag him. Well, should you be in here? Should you? You put your hand up. Otherwise, you put it back in your pocket and continue playing with yourself. <laughs> Whichever way you point it, as soon as you let go, it's up and over the edge. has too many kids. What are we gonna do with you three? Huh? Don't you want to be adopted? Well, then why don't you behave in a manner that prospective parents will find appealing? Mr. and Mrs. Syracuse can't decide on having their own. We can't start talking about having a family until we weigh the pros and cons. They need a plan with vision. We'll never know 
Expensive these kids can be. They need a man with ideas. I want to go to Baby Gap and buy little overalls. What they need is Harry. The beauty of it is you haven't bought something if you don't like it that you can't take back. You've certainly given the rental business a great deal of thought. I've devoted my life to it, Mrs. Olson. I've been studying the entire orphanage operation, and I think I've solved your problem. Problem? What problem? I don't have a problem. Because you have no viable marketing plan. Are you ready? Rent a kid. Rent a what did he say? Kids. He said he rents kids. Cool. You rent live children? Are you insane? Yes. Take them home. Give them a try. Oh, 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 no. All in mint condition. The rental period is for only 10 days. The kids gotten settled in okay? <laughs> oh, my God. How do they keep the Gustins falling to the floor? Oh, boy. Whoa! Now that's a gusher. Nuts! Ah! Race it to the elevators. Come on! I don't think our behaving plan's working too well. <laughs> Did you ever turn those knobs on the stereo back down? Ah! Oops. Well, what a fine looking family. Leslie Nielsen. Ducky, 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 duck. Christopher Lloyd. Hey. In the comedy that offers a new lease on love. See that? Something nice happened to nice people. With an option to buy. We want to adopt them. All of them. Although technically, Mr. Syracuse, you did clearly decline the purchase option. Rent a kid. I also rent uh, popcorn machines and weed whackers. He thinks you're Santa Claus. <laughs> I am. You know what? I know. You know what? The secret. What secret? Santa Claus. I've known for a long time. He's not real. Says who? My mom. I am the parent. You are the friendly guy down the hall. They say that seeing is believing. <laughs> but the truth is, the world is held together by things you can't see. There really has to be something you want for Christmas. A house, a brother, and a dad. That's all I ever want. He loves you and he wants to kiss. You, and he thinks he's the most beautiful woman in the whole world. If you're really Santa Claus, you can get it for me. Right. <laughs> it's an engagement ring. If, if you can't accept anything, hey! faith, then you're doomed for a life dominated by doubt. She's deaf. You don't have to talk to her. She just wanted to see you. You are a very beautiful young lady. <laughs> if I could make you believe, then there'd be some hope for me. If I can't, well, I'm finished. I want this man declared insane. This is about a man who has had something very wrong done to him. I want you to help him. Together, we're going to prove that there is a Santa Claus and that you're him. I'm ready, Carlson. Do you believe that you are Santa Claus? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'd like the court to see Mr. Kringle make the reindeer fly. He only flies on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Coles believes in Santa Claus. Do you believe in Santa Claus? If this court finds that Mr. Kringle is not who he says he is, then I would ask the court to judge which is worse, a lie that draws a smile I knew it. or a truth that draws a tear. This season, 20th Century Fox, Richard Attenborough, Elizabeth Perkins, Dylan McDermott, and Mrs. Doubtfire's Mara Wilson present you with the most precious gift of all, something to believe in. Miracle on 34th Street, directed by Les Mayfield.